Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 64. In past DX Sudoku training videos, we've talked about the seven base puzzle solving techniques. These seven are the most used Sudoku puzzle solving techniques. For simplicity's sake, this list was kept as short as possible. As a consequence of keeping the list short, some special case puzzle solving techniques were left out of the list. In this video, we will discuss the full house, lock pair, and locked triple puzzle solving techniques. These three techniques were left out of the list of seven because they are special cases of the other techniques. The full house is a special case of a naked single. Locked pairs is a special case of a naked pair. And locked triple is a special case of the naked triple. If you are not sure what is a naked single, a naked pair, or a naked triple, take a look at the Exodoku training video number 40. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. As stated in previous DX Sudoku training videos, each Sudoku cell is shared by three houses. Consider the cell in row 8, 9 now outlined. We find a normal naked single in the house making up row 8. We find a normal naked single in the house making up block 9. But when we look at the house making up column 9, we notice something different. For the house making up column 9, there is only one cell remaining without a chosen value. In this case, there is only one remaining number in the house to choose, which is the number 9. This is called a full house. As you can see, it really is just a, a special case of the naked single. Consider the following two Sudoku puzzles side by side. On the left is a normal naked pair diagrammed. On the right is a locked pair diagrammed. Let's first consider the naked pair on the left in the house making up row 4 now outlined. Notice how the two cells making up the naked pair occur in two separate blocks. Cell 4, 5 is in block 5 and cell 4, 7 is in block 6. Now consider the naked pair in the puzzle on the right now outlined. The two cells making up this naked pair only occur in one block, that is block 5. Because the two cells making up the naked pair are shared by two houses, our kill zone is expanded for the two houses. As you can see, we have target candidates to kill in the house making up row 5, and we have target candidates to kill in the house making up block 5. When we have a naked pair being shared by two houses, this is called a locked pair. For the sake of simplicity of the seven base techniques, the locked pair is just considered to be a naked pair. Consider the following two Sudoku puzzles side by side. On the left is a normal naked triple diagrammed. On the right is a locked triple diagrammed. Let's first consider the naked triple on the left in the house making up block 6 now outlined. The cells of the triple's kill zone are all highlighted in red. Notice how the cells in the triple's kill zone only occur in a single house, that is, the house making up block 6. Now consider the naked triple in the puzzle on the right now outlined. All three cells making up the naked triple occur in the house making up block 2. But not only that, all three cells making up the naked triple also occur in the house making up row 2. So with the triple on the right, there are two kill zones. The first kill zone are the cells highlighted in red in the house making up block 2. And the second kill zone are the cells highlighted in red in the house making up row 2. When a naked triple has two kill zones, it is called a locked triple. For the sake of simplicity of the seven base techniques, the locked triple is just considered to be a naked triple. This completes DXodoku training video number 64. Please support DXodoku. Thank you for watching.